Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and I am back with another video. So today we'll be building a tracking device. So we'll be building a GPS tracker based on TTGO T-Call board and Neo 6M GPS module. And we'll be able to see the live location of our device on the Blink IoT app. So guys, without wasting any more further time, let's do this. Hi guys, this video is sponsored by PCBGoGo.com, the manufacturer of good quality professional PCBs. And guys, if you need a faster yet affordable PCB manufacturing, then PCBGoGo is the right choice. PCBGoGo specializes in quick turn, small batch PCB prototyping and turnkey assembling. And PCB build time with PCBGoGo is less compared to other manufacturers. Normally the delivery time would be 3 to 5 days and for a 2 layer PCB it would be reduced to 24 hours. And you can get a 2 layer PCB for $5 from PCBGoGo.com. And now you can get $50 gift coupon from PCBGoGo.com for PCB prototyping and PCB assembly service which deducts 20% off on your order on PCBGoGo.com. The link to register and to get $50 coupon is in description. So guys register yourself today and get $50 coupon to fulfill your PCB needs. So guys before we start the project, let me tell you the required components for this project. So very first you need TTGO T-Call board and then you need a Neo 6M GPS module. So these are the two essential components and the rest ones are optionals like push button, pin header, resistor, battery, PCB etc. So since we will be using Blink IoT platform, we have to get a auth token before programming our board. So make sure you have the Blink app and open the Blink app then create a new project, give project a name, select board as ESP32 dev board and connection type as GSM. Then click create project and you will get the auth token in your email ID. Now rest of the Blink setup we will do later since we got the auth token which we needed to program the board. So for now we are good. Now coming back to the project. You can use the shown schematics and if you are using just TTGO T call and Neo 6M GPS module then connect that only rest, rest of the components you can ignore. But if you want to build the full thing you can connect all the components. So since we got that out of our way let's go to our PC. So you can download this code from video description. And make sure you have installed ESP32 boards in your Arduino IDE. And please install all these used libraries as well. Now in code add your contact number on which you want to send SMS or call notification. Which will be triggered by the push buttons. And if you are not using push buttons you can avoid this part. Now make sure you are using a 2G SIM card because it cannot support 3G or 4G SIM. And for that particular 2G SIM card, Google the APN and update the APN for your SIM card in the code. Then here you have to update the auth token which we earlier got in the email. Now the whole thing is pretty much done and we are ready to upload the code. So connect your board to the PC and upload the code to your board. Now to test it if it works. I will connect Neo 6M GPS module to my TTGO T-Call board as shown. But there is one more thing left to do and that is Blink app setup. So open the Blink project we created and take a map widget. And set the input pin as V0. Then select 5 value displays. 
and name them as latitude, longitude, speed, direction and number of satellites. And input for those would be V1, V2, V3, V4 and V5. And we are pretty much done with the blink setup. Now I am gonna power the TTGO T call board with type C cable and give it some time to connect. And then in our blink app, we can hit the play icon and we can see our current location, latitude, longitude, map and all the info. And some of my details I'll be hiding to protect my current location. So guys, as we saw that, that it actually works. So now I have soldered all the components on PCB according to the shown schematics and we are ready to test this. So guys, this is the PCB I created and I have attached all the components on it. So guys, now I am walking outside with this device and you can see the speed in the app. And guys, please allow this device to have some inaccuracy and latency since it's a 2G network. And you can use one of the onboard switches to send a call notification. And obviously there is no speaker or mic setup, so it cannot do an actual voice call. And with the another switch press, you can send the current coordinates to the same phone number via text message. So guys, that was pretty much it for today. I hope you like this video. If you do, hit like, give me a share and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in another video. Till then, stay safe and keep exploring.